Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Central Africa. Deploying. <laughs> Analysis updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Analysis complete. You have arrived at your destination. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Side ops list up. 
devastated. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Marker placed. Marker removed. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Please support helicopter Roger. requested.
Please, the weather will clear shortly. Mission accept the map has been updated. Please select a mission. Two engineers are being held in the observation post southwest of Ngumba Industrial Zone. Boss, your mission is to rescue them. The targets are civilians, one male, one female. They were dispatched to the area by an international health organization, but disappeared shortly after. Extract the two targets and help them escape the country. the two prisoners being held in a guard post to the southwest of Ngumba Industrial Zone. The targets are civilians, one male, one female. Apparently, they're specialists sent out there to investigate infectious diseases. They were frequent visitors to that devil's house at Nzoya Badiabul. If you recover them, we'll finally be able to get first-hand accounts of what's been going on in that place. That's the target's predicted location. They should be somewhere in that area. That's one of the targets. He's an engineer with an American medical equipment manufacturer. After he got his medical degree, he started working in Namibia. He's a straight arrow, hardworking, specializes in a range of fields. Quite the skill set. But best of all, he isn't tied down, and he's been considering a career change. We don't know how he ended up getting sent to this conflict zone, but if we can convince him to join us, he'll make a valuable asset. She's a volunteer with a medical NGO, and is the male target support. Though she's been in the field a while, that's all we know. Not much intel on her abilities. Our client this time around is the NGO she works for, and her sponsor was the male target's corporation. Those are the tents where the targets are being held. They were originally the researchers' accommodations. The threat level seems relatively low. Enemy presence detected. The analysis complete. The map has been updated. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
enemy squad is on its way to the guard post. Extraction. Watch yourself. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. You need to help her. Analysis complete. That's the target. Get him out of there. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Exfiltrated hot zone. Mission complete. Great work. Two targets in quarantine. They don't show signs of anything, but we'll monitor them just the same. If they had access to the Devil's House, I doubt they were sent there by some health organization. Cypher used them and would have eliminated them eventually, but we'll protect them here. They've agreed to that. After all, we helped them out of the country as promised. The mission's complete. But boss, they've been behind the curtains at Ngamba. They examine the patients there nearly every day. They told us the patients were being made to listen to voices on tape. But the male target added something interesting. He said he doesn't know what was on the tapes because there was no English version. Of all the voices that were shoved down those people's throats, English was one of them. Good. He captured it alive. Staying on the battlefield that long will have a negative impact on your health. Why not head back to Mother Base for a shower once in a while? Hmm? The boss is back. Let's go refuel and load up on artillery. We're good to go, Chief. <laughs> <sighs> What's the matter? still.
payback for how they treated her? Doesn't explain the others. She had every chance to kill them. Tight security on her cell. This happens a second time. There won't be a third. To this place? I guess so. Yeah. It's good. It is pretty unique, after all. Staff yeah. assigned. I was confused by a lot of things at first, but I feel welcome here. Well, that's what counts, right? Nobody here treats you differently based on your color or country. Please that specify a project. Very open minded. Yeah, I don't know what the future holds, but for now, I plan on staying. Glad to hear it. Looking forward to working with you. Same here. Please specify a project. Please select landing zone. Roger. Arriving shortly at LZ. Please select a mission. This is B Quad. On station at LZ. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. 
position. Unit dispatched. shortly. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone. Roger.
Now, I'm not saying I think it's Eli, but I want to run a genetic test all the same. Don't worry, I'll have it done without him noticing. The test may take some time, but I'll tell you as soon as we have the results. Please select a mission. Boss, this contract comes from the Embelli rebel militants. That's right. That general's fighters. Recently, one of their child soldier platoons staged an insurrection and split from the main group. Thing is, they took a hostage with them. The general's brother is number two. The contract is to extract both that prisoner and the leader of the renegade platoon. The message reads, I love my brother. You must bring him back to me alive. It also says this about the leader of the child soldiers. He is an excellent soldier. I want to persuade him to rejoin the ranks of the righteous. Sounds a little too forgiving for the man who ordered those kids dead at the mine. I wonder... I wonder what kind of persuasion the General has in store. With that in mind, here are your objectives. First, rescue and return the General's number two as requested. Second, extract the renegade leader, and we'll keep him at Mother Base. In other words, extract both targets out of the region. Good luck, boss. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. Objectives are to extract the child soldier's commander and their captive, the general's number two. This child soldier platoon decided to break away from the Mbeli militants. They took the number two captive and have occupied an abandoned village. Start by checking that location on your map. Boss, the child soldiers will treat you as an enemy, but they're just kids. See that they don't get hurt. That's the village the boy soldiers have taken over. It was deserted. Seems they're using it as their base of operations. The targets are there. Look carefully. The map has been updated. He's the rescue target. The second in command of the Embele rebel militants. He's the younger brother of the general. He's only distinguished himself these last few years. Still. I think he got himself captured by a bunch of children. Unless he went with them of his own accord. Yeah. That's the commander of the child soldier splinter group. He may be a kid, but he got his platoon to revolt. Abducted a militant faction's XO. And made off with a cache of weapons and ammo. Those kids are brainwashed with gunpowder from an early age. Taught to kill, kill, kill. Real elites. One of your objectives is to capture the commander and bring him to Mother Base. Reconnaissance is best conducted from high vantage points. I've marked a good spot on your map. Take a look at your eye ruin. The map has been updated. High ground. Looks perfect for reconning the village. Destination. Ah, 
Your Salama Swan. Is it him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the target. There he is, the commander. Extract him. Security's pretty light. There are fewer kids around than our intel suggested. Maybe they sent some out on patrol. Take aim. Fire. That's the target prisoner. Okay, that's the general's brother. His number two. Get him out of there, boss. That's the target prisoner. He's injured. Looks half starved, too. There's no way he can stand the shock of a full extraction. Get him out by chopper. Why 
from the renegade platoon and the hostage was killed in the firefight. Also, their leader wouldn't let himself be taken alive. I doubt the client will pay us for this one, but we got a big enough reward from the general's number two instead. And as for the number two, he's saying he wants to join Diamond Dogs. I guess he knows what that means for him. He said, if I'm working for you, I can be number two or number 200 for all I care. We have an emergency. Many of our staff are falling ill. At first it seemed like a common cold, but before we knew it, blisters started popping up on their chests and... Damn it. I'll fill you in at the ACC. Just get in the chopper. Look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sparganum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. That'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. I'll explain how to quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Go to the mother base menu and select staff management. First, take a look at the quarantine facility we've set up. We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. But we have to expect that there are multiple staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. 
So how do we identify them? At present, we have no way to tell them apart. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the quarantine facility. We'll monitor them, and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Boss, get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Select unit. <sighs> Staff has been quarantined. Staff, you specified. Did you figure out what's causing the infection? Please select a landing zone. Heading to Mother Base. of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sporgatum. We don't know the root of infection, Analysis or what causes symptoms to develop. The infection Analysis rate, complete. along with the number of dead, Analysis are both on the rise. If we don't find the cause, and soon... Folks. Do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? 
Welcome back. This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. It could be a counterplay by Skullface. That's insane. You mean they weaponized parasites? Parasites as weapons. That definitely falls under the Biological Weapons Convention. But it's something the world would never see coming. And no one's ever developed a vaccine for parasites. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa? It may be. But if it is, how did the Yellow Cake and Walker Gears fit in? There must be something bigger we're not seeing. Anyway, our priority now is to prevent more casualties. The medical team is studying the infection. But we can't treat anyone until we know the root cause. All we can do right now is halt the spread of infection. attacked one of our guys on Mother Base, stuck a knife in his mouth. He's one of the very few soldiers who've had contact with her recently. Close contact. I don't think it's a coincidence that he was among those who became symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter, an open wound, mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. <laughs> it's not like she's gonna talk. No. Not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel. But this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Please select a la landing zone. Roger. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Squad. I'm stationed at LZ. 
won't stop hurting. <laughs> <laughs>